My 1100 little heart hates 1v1s because every time I go into one, it's like, my build order sucks, I need to cheese. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, generally it's so the game it's higher is about level. To start. Yeah, generally it's high level plays. It's not much. It's mostly about you know builds or the improvisation, basically. Uh, ni <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot at the start of the game you see the nice uh, AI uh, grid for its uh, orders. So yeah, let's yeah. Uh, talk a bit about the game. So at the top right we also, have. Um... In, in the chat, Indrani was asking you to bump up my volume in OBS. Apparently, I'm a little bit quiet. Hence, my message of okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't see it. So at the top right, we have Grimplex's team leading team uh, red, red-ish. Uh, I guess that's yeah. the golf color. It, it's, red, it's red, red, and brown. We'll call brown a red for now for all the colorblind people. Yeah, I know that's the uh, that's the AIs. What are they called? SpaceNet. Yes, yeah, SpaceNet. They are the greenish colors. Then one team is like red to yellow, and the others are the more blue and purple-ish colors. But they they've decided to pick like the most contrasting colors of of the colors that were available to them. So <laughs> even though the yeah. top right team looks very similar, the bottom it's like. <laughs> we can we can always just we can always just go with the with the tried and true top, the team on the top is team one and team on the bottom is team two like no. of the map north and south no 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 it's team grimplex and team uh who's the captain banani i think from the bottom team team Jeez. grimplex and team banani i'm fine with this wait 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 Wait, 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 no, that's not right. Banani is in Team Grimplex. What am I saying? Oh, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I don't know I don't, these people. Wait, so team Macro Noob, that's it. It's Macro Noob. Okay. Team uh, Macro yeah. versus Team Grimplex. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. And the beautiful AIs in the middle. It's the one Uviso AI to Uviso it's team, that, that one we okay. can give a name. It's Team Green. No, Team SpaceNet is what we should call it. Team, team SpaceNet. That, that's okay. what uh, Fergal the decided their names right are. <laughs> that's we what Fergal the decided their names are, so we should uh, call them Team SpaceNet for that. Oh, Murdoch and Steenus. <laughs> <laughs> I like Steenus. That's, that, Steenus has a good name. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... This map is... Uh, I mean, the maps for this tournament are quite weird. They're, most of them are never seen before. Uh, this, this one reminds me of um, of Miracle. That map, Miracle. Maybe it's just the, the like color set. Yeah, the it, color set does remind me a bit of it as well, yeah. Yeah, it, but it looks like Miracle 2 with where you kind of have three lanes almost, but since it's a since there's another team there... Like, if you take the AIs out, it kind of looks like Miracle, but turned a bit sideways and changed with elevation. Uh, it's, I wouldn't exactly you, call it similar, but... If, if you, if you squint is... real hard, it looks like one of those Rorschach tests, like the, the ink squats. <laughs> this is a bit too close to the... This map just looks like Badlands meme. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> where uh, where basically every map that's red equals Badlands. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, right. it's, uh, I can see how the color palette is similar, but uh, uh, it will probably play out quite a bit different just because, you know, if it will be a normal 3v3 without, uh, without SpaceNet, then there will be a lot yeah. of contestable maxes actually to fight over, unlike Miracle. Also, whenever we started, it's changed a bit now, but we started with about 33,000 reclaim on this map, which I think is about standard for uh, for a for a team game map. Most yeah, it's either, pretty. It's either zero. It's zero. Yeah, it's zero. Thirty to forty thousand, or like two hundred thousand. Those are your <laughs> three options with team game maps, <laughs> and uh, I think it's. It's looking pretty cool. Down to the south, we have Inspector Cot and uh, No Fear Five Five Five. They're starting to get in with into it with each other for the first time. Anybody this game? Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah so... I, I thought I got the names wrong. <laughs> so far, uh, <laughs> Team uh, Team Grimplex is uh, being more on the aggressive side. Early on, there was a lab from Cot that raided some of the engineers from No Fear. 
that we are getting to the massive reclaim field behind the mountain and there were also some uh, aggressive bombers I think from Banani that were going for uh, Makonoop and uh, also yeah. a nicely placed Salon from Banani on the left side yeah it's gonna be denying that mass extractor which is always annoying and whenever it happens to me that mass extractor may as well not exist anymore because uh, I am a noob and I won't notice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Salons did get nerfed uh, a few weeks ago, or Can't maybe already months ago. engineers now reclaim them? You, you could have always like, reclaimed them, you just need to attack move next to them, and they can uh, reclaim them. Uh, it's just that if it's surrounded by rocks as it currently is, the engineers might prioritize the rocks instead and will still not reclaim him. Yeah, I mean, it's only two mass a second. It's not anything massive. Um, of course, it's always nice. Like, <laughs> every massive. little bit counts. <laughs> it, it is massive, in your opinion? <laughs> no, it was a joke. Oh. I was going to say, I mean, listen, I know what your name translates to, but come on. <laughs> uh, anyway, the... Wait, the AI is trying to build a max and he's blocking the AI with that Salon. <laughs> uh, who knew? Oh, that's that's mean. That's 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 cyberbullying, but you're <laughs> How dare he. Anyway, so far the SpaceNet AI is they the rally points from the factory seem a little bit off, aka they don't seem to really exist at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure if they will move their units in the future, but so far they seem a bit stationary. Yeah. Um, overall, what's what's catching my eye right now is out of out of all the players, as I said, I already mentioned them once, but down on the so southeastern corner down here, Inspector Cot and uh, No Fear Five Five Five, they are. I think amassing the most T1 units, and I think we're going to see a lot of volatility down here. Probably see, if we're going to see somebody die early, it's going to be one of these two, I feel. Yeah, I think so as well. They were the two closest spawns to each other. The AIs are not in their way at all, so they are just doing a big 1v1 brawl. I'm surprised, actually, that none of the other ACUs walked there to support them, so maybe get a two quick 2v1 and uh, ASU kill, or at least secure map control. But yeah, so far it's, uh, it's kind of even. And before we started this match, we were talking about how we uh, what we were predicting, and both of us thought that Grimplex's team had a bit of an edge, and how Grimplex was just a, probably a little bit uh, ahead of every other player on these teams. Starting to show right now, with Grimplex in the middle, he's kind of just completely forced Wounded Elk, Elk Noob back, and he has more units, and he's starting to eco really hard in the back line. I think he, just from a glance, I think he has the strongest eco of any player right now. Yeah, you should remind me for next game to turn off uh, uh, Supreme Scoreboards. <laughs> because uh, with the turns yeah. off, I, uh, I can go into their POV, he but now I can't. Yeah, um, we, I, I, I noticed that like about two minutes ago. I was like, oh, right, I should have turned that <laughs> yeah. off too. Every, <laughs> so. every single tourney, every first game, I always forget and have it on. Um, up to the north, Yellow Noob in a ton of trouble. I mean, it's starting to look like there might be enough artillery. Oh, he's, he's actually almost dying ball. there. Um, yeah, yeah, like... Dennis, I love his name, and he is really putting the screws to Yellow Noob. He's up to, he's going down to like 2,500 HP. <laughs> he's, he's chasing cool. the ACU. It's so <laughs> many Lobos there, and they will do lots of damage. Uh, Yellow Noob really kind of screwed it up there, because uh, yeah. this should not be Yellow happening. Noob, he needs to go play, um, I can't remember the name of it, but the second mission of the faf campaign where you have to dodge like a thousand fervor shells before for the first like five minutes go play that <laughs> a few times. nice that's that's my uh that's my trainer that's whenever i feel like i'm not doing good on com micro i just go play that mission over, <laughs> over. <laughs> i don't think it's a good trainer i don't follow my advice unless you want to be an 1100 <laughs> okay it's uh, uh 
my biggest surprise so far is that you know generally the type of strategy that would make a lot of sense here is to find ways to break the ai that's basically the challenge right uh f yeah. for example like some quick cheese to quickly snipe your ai while the enemy has to deal with them uh or like even if you don't do that just walls ai has difficulty with walls uh i don't yeah. think that's any new thing but nobody built any and that's kind of surprising I... I, I think that one thing that, like, specifically whenever you're looking over here at the north in that situation with Yellow Noob and the AI, I think that these AIs, almost all of them are, like, every time I've seen one where somebody came out, I made a new AI. The one thing you can say they're good at is getting a lot of land units and, like, being able to keep up with land units, even with the pros. I think going for a straight up land battle, it's not going to work out very well for most players. Like, you have to have kind of an immaculate opener and every little bit of efficiency to outbuild the AIs on on land units, unless they just start with less mixes. Well, yeah, I mean, you're a bit wrong on one thing, and that is that, you know part of the region region reason why uh the reason the... part of the region what region are we talking about <laughs> hey no bullying, are we, are okay le... are we talking about australia uh, because i gotta give a shout out to the uh, aussies because everybody likes the aussies here at fast um sorry go on <laughs> part of the reason <laughs> part of the reason why they uh, tend to keep up is because uh, at least in this story i don't know if this ai does it but they tend to you know cheat and they get modifiers uh that's why you know usual build orders they don't need to do anything of the sorts because they they can you know go first land factory make two pigeons and go second land factory or something but uh, yellow noob made the gun and does manage to kill his ai funnily enough what i saw earlier the murdoch uh, space net ai on the left Instead of going south, he sent his entire army to the right and attacked the red team on the right. <laughs> so that was kind of unfortunate. And full yeah. share is on for the AIs as well. So uh, Murdoch does inherit the base, but Yellow Noob should be able to deal with it, considering the gun is used there and really nothing is there to counter it. So he has dealt with his AI, so that's kind of a big win for them. He's going to get a lot of reclaim from the, that base. Yeah, give me one moment. Um, I have to go take a, get a package. Okay. Oh, sure, sure. Surprisingly, on the bottom, neither Cot nor Nofia have any gun. They're just trading blows. There are pillars now on the fields for uh, Nofia. But considering that there is no gun issue, I'm surprised he is not making any mongoose. Because, you know, there's nothing to right. counter mongoose. Are you already back? Yeah. That was quick. Uh, no, the, my phone was freaking out and I assumed it was that. No, nope, uh. it was, in fact, the message saying it's a few stops away. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon, for blowing up my phone. Nice one. So anyway, for Macro Noob, I don't understand. If he just makes, like, two big walls in both the choke points, then the AI is forced to not go through him, because the AI will try to go around the walls, right? Mm -hmm. And well, the AI is actually already sending all his units north, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But you know, he doesn't know that it was gonna happen. Something that we didn't speak about you were talking earlier about your surprise nobody sent two comms to that southeastern corner. Uh, team Southern Team, Team Macro Noob, has decided to force the issue here in the middle, and both. Uh, Macro Noob and Wounded Elk Noob have gun upgrades on their comms and are pushing on Grimplex and it looks as though Wounded Elk Noob is going to get a fatal blow onto the production and economy of Inspector Cut. He's snuggled in here right between the army of Grimplex and the base of Inspector Cut and it's looking bad for the northern team. It actually looks really bad there because um well, yeah, there's two ACUs. I think uh, what Wounded needs to do is commit and kill all that base while both ACUs retreat. You can basically sacrifice that army. It's only tech 1 mostly, but there's enough RT in it that they can basically wipe out the whole base. 
and that in turn should allow Nofia to win his sides. Because the issue is Banani is just fighting the AI. He's doing a good job at it, but it's basically a 2v3 then for the for the rest of his team. Yeah. And it's just gonna be really, really difficult. <laughs> but as, Grimplex uh... moves in for a big push now. He's gonna try to maybe kill an ACU. He had a nice parachute on his pillars, but that is down. But yeah. there's still two ACUs. And the AI I mean... is sending in reinforcements against Grimplex as well. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing here is the tech disadvantage. Like, there's there's a decent number of pillars. Sure, there's two gun comms, but those pillars are definitely the reason why this didn't go further. But even with this, Wounded Elk Noob, with the presence of mind, dispatches five of his Zooies to go to the east and oh, just yeah. destroy the key structures of Inspector Kai. I think he lost T2, uh, his T2 land HQ. He's going to be losing a uh, T2 mechs if he hasn't already lost... A couple of them and it's just gonna be painful yeah that those five zooies were a great uh, move it's it's partially cod's fault because he should have been able to deal with them better they shouldn't have never have done this much damage it's because god passed everything to try and get this ACU upgrade online but you should have yeah. he had the build power to just rush a few units so it's i i think that's definitely a situation where you can either blame it on on Cot because he's not he's too zoomed in and focused on the front and didn't notice that that was happening cuz if if he didn't notice that was happening that's a little bit silly but um also Grimplex should have been like yo pause your upgrade and build at least some mech marines just get some dps kind of dissuade the attack you know yeah true uh but the good thing for the red team is they uh, Grimplex uh, does have uh, a few Sparkies at the front, and he's rushing some tech to PDs. And with that, he should be able to secure the reclaim shield, which is 4k mass, uh, which yeah. is not bad. Most of those units are mm -hmm. his, but at least he's getting them back. And another good thing is uh, up to the north, Yellow Noob, or I think that's Banani, has uh, is also kind of just rolling over the second AI like it looks like he's about to roll over the second AI and that's going to be huge for the map control of of the red team like I mean they just get to they just get to control this northern side because earlier we were talking about how Banani wasn't really helping Grimplex or Inspector Cotton it was leaving them vulnerable well Banani is winning harder on the northern side than they are losing on the southern side and that's going to come into play pretty soon with all these mexes being grabbed up we're just gonna see an insane economy start coming out from yellow noob here soon i would imagine i think it is a bit deceiving because i think macro noob has way more eco than banani is at the moment banani is more map control but 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 uh macro is almost every single tech to max uh, kept he rushed tech 3 and is spamming lawyers now well banani is still in tech 2 spam and i think eventually uh, wounded elk noob heard your strategy he's building walls that's against the rules. <laughs> Wait, is that against the rules? Can you not no. build walls? No, 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 it's not against the rules. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I'm just joking. Uh, the How P dare he? <laughs> the the PD from uh, uh, Gameplex did cancel the nano upgrades from Wounded, so that's quite nice. I saw a question in chat that this that is this full share, and if you didn't catch it from the AI exploding, yes, it, it is definitely full share. Yes, uh, it is full share. Most uh, uh, team Most games, or at least tourneys are with team games, are in full share, and in this one as well. Uh, we have loyalists now starting to push on the north. Macro noob get, getting up to T3 land really quickly, and I think you're you're right. I was saying that like Banani was doing really well, but I didn't really look at Macro noob and the uh, stunning economy he's thrown together in this short 15 minutes. But now we're gonna be seeing loyalists against Medusa and uh, Yellow noob gonna have to come up with a solution. Gonna be interested to what he chooses on. He's going for a T3 land factory himself. Yeah, I think the big issue of uh, Banani's uh, or Yellow Noob's strategy here was... Uh, oh, there's a few Corsairs, oh, but they get sniped down, so they won't do too much. I think the biggest issue was the fact that the two AIs spawned so close to each other that even if he killed one, the other then decided to send all his reinforcements to him. 
so he basically had to fight both AIs on his own. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the, a the AIs are just definitely chilled. playing a spoiler. Yeah, it's uh, and it's part of the strategy you choose. That's you know, the AI is posing is doing way more damage to the red team than it is to the blue team. But it's partially the red team's fault because they decided to engage the AI while the blue team was just chilling, kind of letting the AI have his own space. But these lawyers at the top, there, there's nothing to counter them. They're gonna kill everything. Yeah going to be a bit unfortunate um, for the red team and it doesn't look like anybody is soon on a tech 3 level or for that matter anybody is going to be able to quickly afford a bunch of tech 3 units uh, sure we have tech 3 on the way for yellow noob but I don't think he's nearly at the same economic situation as macro noob is now with macro noob starting to get multiple t3 mexes online um starting to look a little bit dire for this team on the north side yeah it's um i mean as what the name suggests it's what uh, macro noob is uh, best at uh, just echoing well and then uh, uh using that eco to do lots of damage he sometimes has some issues with i mean he always echoes well but if the enemy team is aggressive, then that can be really bad. But in this case, he had an AI to shield for him, so it worked out perfectly. <laughs> so I definitely think it's a superior strategy that he chose to do. Also, uh, what I like, what he also did, is he made a few rocket bots and some deceivers. Uh, that are currently being janused by the AI <laughs> on the left side. Uh, Ooh, but... Brutal. Somebody go play, uh, what is it, Firestorm by Sabaton? <laughs> Didn't know uh, the AI was role playing as FTX there. Uh, <laughs> but but those rocket bots, they all have like 20 to 30 kills, and he just grinded the AI, the units that he sent to him, with range efficiency, which is what you can do versus an AI. Uh, well, on the other side, Yellow Noob just brought the fight to the AI and went for a big brawl. Oh, the lawyers are gonna, they're gonna kill T3 Max of the complex. I was about, I was about oh. to say that. The first T3 Max going down so abruptly. Oh, that's just painful. That. That's so painful. That, that, that did not even come close to paying itself off. And if he wanted to be a real, just the absolute most annoying play ever, he could ground fire the wreck of the Max. <laughs> And just make it impossible for Grimplex to to really like not impossible to recover, but make it really a longer process. Yeah, but going for the two tech two maxes at the back is uh, a better choice. There, there's two more vulnerable maxes that uh, can just snipe for free as well. And Grimplex is responding with so many pillars. That means that uh, he has less pressure at the front, and I think it looks really, really bad for the red team now. Those those uh, lawyers just did way too much damage. Yeah, I think that team. The onus is on uh, team one. They need to pull a rabbit out of a hat, or something else as uh, impressive, because it's getting. Getting kind of dire now. <laughs> the, the, these units are just traversing the mountains. <laughs> Apparently, you can just walk up, up and up there. Look at the pillars following the lawyer at the top right. <laughs> oh, that looks so dumb. But okay. Uh, meanwhile, at the bottom, it still seems pretty static. Not a lot is going yeah. on there. We were. To, I, I, I'm. This is just. Uh, this is just the caster curse coming in. I was like, if anything crazy is gonna happen, it's gonna happen in the southeastern <laughs> side. And uh, now it's like uh, these two players both deciding. <laughs> all right, it's turtle time. It's time to settle down. <laughs> I, I've lived my. I've lived a, a risky life for too long. I'm gonna settle down now. <laughs> Funnily enough. They're both UEF. This is one of the situations where Tech 3 is you into maybe one or two Ravages would be funny. Just to, you know, deny them that that base. Uh, and then so, just uh, keep them forward. 
Indrani did a uh, did a did a prediction where you're gonna use your channel points. I don't know if it's still gonna be running by the uh, by the time I uh, I'm saying this like actually on Fap Live. But if it is, currently 96% of people are saying Team Red is in, is gonna win. So I hope they're right. I hope we see some epic comebacks because it, it, <laughs> I think you show a screenshot of this game to any FAF player and they'll be like, oh yeah, top team loses. Um, <laughs> I mean, this isn't the most uh, like one-sided like scenario I mean, so far, but it, most it's of not completely one-sided. Most importantly, it's definitely a comeback. It's the AI that can change a lot because now he's. It looks like he's starting to focus on the bottom. His force is still mostly mech marines. Though. Yeah, but he does have a tech three like, mechs. <laughs> he has a tech three mechs and and mech marines. If it has M E in the uh, beginning of the name, he has it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, also the AI, like, he must be, like, using some modifier. How else? He's making, he just finished two more tech tree maxes. He's not even capping them. <laughs> He's making more. Like, I with mean, how little eco he had, there's no way he could afford all the spam and the eco otherwise. Mech Marines ain't that expensive. Like, I don't think it's a huge modifier, per se. I think it's... I vaguely remember, I mean it's different for different games, but I vaguely remember something like a uh, 1.3 times modifier or something. It's actually set in stone in the forum posts, but uh, I can look at it after this game. Anyway, there's a big push in middle, uh, Banani, Yellow Noob, uh, Nick sided together with Grimplex for a big push. It's Ooh, still... he transferred the units to Yellow Noob to get rid of the pathfinding issues he was having there. I love this play, and I think people need to do it more often. Um, this is just me completely railroading whatever you were saying. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's fine. I've been doing I've been doing this with Thurnus Haley and Lieutenant General Fluffy in Navy games because naval pathfinding is even worse than the land pathfinding. And any time we're on a map where there's like a choke point in the Navy, we just give all of our Navy to one player and say have fun, and it's been working so much better. And I love seeing players transfer units whenever pathfinding is going to be an issue. Because pathfinding is less of an issue when there's only one person giving orders. Yeah, that's, that's kind of true. It also tends uh, to make a difference how you're giving the orders. Because, uh, yeah. you know, if you select your entire army and give one movement order, then the pathfinding is way worse than when you like select small groups and you give each of them a separate movement order. But, uh... Well, uh or if you want to... Oh, wait, did the same and gave, uh, like his entire lawyer force to wounded elk noob and now yellow noob is just gonna die he's standing there eating yeah. it all but he's gonna blow Ooh. up the army and it is full share those trebuchet shots really landing on that comm there looking pretty um another thing with uh another like kind of of micro trick that i've i've seen people using that maybe i was just not noticing it before but if you don't have time to do the entire give all of your units, like do little group commands with your entire army, uh, shift G, uh, the group command, if you do a move command and then hold with your army and then shift G, your units will actually get where they're going faster. The downside is if there's an overcharge, you're going to lose all your units. <laughs> I mean... Generally, Shift-G is not the way to go. Not not for the overcharge, but for the long term. Like, short term, Shift-G, your units uh, move uh, move faster. But long term, they actually tend to clog up more. Strategic Bomber just took out uh, T2 mechs for Grimplex. And he's wreaking havoc on the back line. Macro Noob really focusing on dealing damage to the infrastructure and economy of his opponents right now yeah and it's the longer this goes on the worse it's gonna be uh for the red team they do have a pretty sizable tech tree army in mid now but uh they can't really use it too well they did lose an acu and they're still gun acu from wounded there at the front also you have to keep in mind that this is some very steep mountain in mid actually so uh, I saw it earlier in the fight where overcharges were hitting the cliff, but it also means that 
usually in a scenario like this, you would build sniper bots and shield spam, but sniper bots will just hit the mountain as well. They will not hit anything. Uh, okay, so gotcha. it's a bit of an awkward position. Like all these overcharges from wounded are just hitting the cliff over and over again. Listen, that cliff really <laughs> offended the Seraphim. <laughs> and as we know, little things like cliffs and nuclear explosions offend the Seraphim pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> just not... taking my moment to, to do my faction bias. That makes no sense. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, someone... If you want more content like that Then have me on Faf Life more <laughs> <laughs> Well, re response to uh, who is available to cast on Faf Life more <laughs> Well, touche <laughs> <laughs> um... You're right <laughs> So, the AI is... Kind of showing up to be a dark horse right now. Even though, if it does have a unit cap, it's about to hit it with mech marines. <laughs> That's uh, some nice uh, uh, forcey uh, position there. Mac Noob just needs to position a single trebuchet to just kill 50 units in one shot. Um. <laughs> I just. Uh, I just saw something silly. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's in uh, the Faf Live management. So earlier, if anybody noticed in chat, Indrani was talking about having struggles not being able to get past Twitch guidelines for saying who will win round one. Um, it was apparently because the name Macro Noob or having Noob in the name is banned by Twitch, and I find Noob being banned by Twitch to be hilarious. Are you kidding me? Is that s are you serious? <laughs> oh my After god. After the conversation we had before stream where you got banned for your name, Noob being banned too, it's starting to make sense why they got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, if Noob is offensive enough, you know, gotta be wholesome. <laughs> uh, anyway, the strat actually gets caught and he didn't kill anything. Oh wait, that's the second strat. Oh no. Yeah. Is it? The, yeah, it's the second strat. The first strat got caught way earlier. Yeah, but it only um, has 100 mastery claim. I guess he partially got it. Oh, god. Gotcha. They, they died right um, next to each other. On the southeast, we're finally having some action kick off. Uh, no Fear 555 has managed to push Inspector Caught back and has a beefy Rambo com with Nano Repair, uh, shield and that Zephyr amp, meaning that it's gonna be a force to be reckoned with, and it's also just gonna kind of be difficult to kill as it's on four ranks of veterancy, and, in, and soon will reach five if things continue to go this way. Um, Inspector trying to fire base against this, but he had a much stronger fire base a few minutes ago, and it kind of just crumbled to this Rambo comp. Yeah, Nofi needs to watch out a bit, he's kind of overextending, but yeah. Colt actually doesn't have the gun for some reason. I thought he had it all this time, but no. Uh, no, he just has T2. That's the upgrade he was getting whenever he got attacked in his uh, back line. And no fear. I think he's going to be fine because the two Percivals coming up on the western side of his comm going to deal with the Percival or with the Titans, and the Titans don't have enough DPS to be that much. Yeah, Nofi is actually being a bit too careful. He all, he felt like he almost overstepped. That's why he retreated all the way, but he could have kept pushing again after he was safe. But he's he still has like he's, 25k HP, but he's running yeah. away from five Titans and a Mongoose. He's... He, but he is already kind of winning the engagement simply because he's building Percivals and his opponent is building Titans. And I've not seen anybody but Icy Nightmare be able to defeat Percivals with Titans. It, it, it depends on the on the map and the scenario, but in this case, when it's a straight up like lane fight, kind of, Percy's are yeah. indeed uh, a better choice they're, for sure. They're just superior. Um, Grimplex... Having this double base, he's been sitting on it for a while, and he's been getting up a, a few T3 mexes. Of course, he's constantly, between the Loyalists killing off mexes, now the Corsairs in the north just killed off another T2 mex, and uh, the Strat Bombers. He's definitely struggling, but they have to keep up the pressure on Grimplex. He's not the type of player you can leave on two base and expect to still win. Like... 
eventually this is, he's gonna have a, a huge economy if they unless they keep up this pressure and keep on this kind of attritional kind of damage where they're killing off eco with either air or run buys i think you underestimate in how bad of a position he was because banani when he died and complex got his base basically had no eco and at this moment macro noob still probably has uh, more eco than Grimplex, if not by quite a bit. He's on full tech 3 max, if I believe. Well, there's a few tech 2s, but let's do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tech 3 maxes. And he's yeah. building uh, the 7th at the moment. While well, Grimplex is on 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. 4 that I can count. He's, he, I see 5, I think. Uh, or maybe four. Maybe I'm just blind. Stagger points I'm, out. I, AI I, is going a fatty. I'm, I'm seeing. I'm seeing double on one of these two. Oh. there's a chicken out from a wounded elk. Uh, that's going mid, and I don't see any counter to it. It has um, to be micro, probably, of course, but you don't see the about twenty percivals that Grimplex kind of just has. He has almost twenty. That's nearly enough. Yeah, but if a chicken is micro properly, it can beat that easily. The thing is, it needs to be micro properly. Uh, yeah. But like, it also has a supporting army of like ten autumns and two mobile shields with it, which is very important. Yeah. So there's also autumns showing up from the north. There's a lot of there's a lot of T three assault bot production here, and I think that if he spots it in time, we could definitely see. <sighs> He could counter it. It's it's not it's by no means a game a game ending play if Grimplex has time has any time to react to it. Now, the question is, has he scouted it? We can't really check because we can't look at his view. But um, I think that he might uh, be able to deal with it. I think he is gonna be <clears throat> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> to put it mildly. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's see. Eleven hundred versus twenty-five hundred. I think the chicken dies. All I have on my track record is I watch a lot of fat. I think the chicken dies. If, if the chicken and, dies, me it and... means it was mis microed. <laughs> he's like he's walking the chicken into the T three army, and oh, that's oh well. It okay. doesn't. It doesn't matter because it's anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the, the chicken actually was being suicided here, but uh, yeah. the thing is, it doesn't really matter okay. because he will have to suicide this entire T3 army to kill the chicken, and the Tech 3 army from Wounded just cleans up the rest, and Wounded will get the reclaim of the fight. And uh, he can just use that reclaim to build his next chicken, which is already at 50%, but build the chicken after that as well, so... yeah. Anyway, the AI uh, is still spamming laps in the corner. <laughs> he is on a few hundred now. Do they need to kill off the AI is the question. Do they, no, do they, they lose don't. if they control... Oh. No, no, no. You don't <laughs> need to kill say, the AI. <laughs> the AI doesn't have a unit cap, does it? There is no way it's not a unit. It has like a thousand mech marines alone. Uh, <laughs> let me... He has 300 mech marines, 300 strikers, 100 lobos. Make sure you turn off Supreme Scoreboard, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the same. So yeah, the blue team, team Macro Noob wins the first game, and it is a best of three, I believe. Yes, it is. Let me just... Do we want to stay with him, or do we want to move on to maybe another lobby if there's another uh, available? We want to stay with him. If we start the best of three, we should finish it. Alright, just making sure.